Never stop learning week 169. We're going to take a quick look at the join tool, which is a new feature in Adobe Illustrator CC October 2014. All right, so in order to find the join tool, first thing you want to do is come over here to the tools panel. And right here where you find the pencil tool, just click and hold. And at the bottom of the stack, you're going to find the join tool. Now, before I activate this guy, I'm actually going to work with the pencil tool so you can see the type of joins you could do. All right, first, you're going to have some times where a segment is overlapping and you want to create a join right here to create a peak. You'll also have some situations where those segments don't quite meet up, but you're still trying to create a little peak here. All right, so let's see how the join tool works. All right, I'm going to select both of these segments here so Illustrator knows this is what I want to work with. Back over here in the tools panel, just click and hold, activate the join tool. Now, normally, what we would do with something like this is maybe scissor this guy out and try to figure out a way to uh, blend these two together. Or there's a bunch of different ways you could do it, but they all involve multiple steps. With this new tool, all I have to do is click and drag, and it'll go ahead and create that peak for me. If I grab my selection tool, you'll see that both of these segments are now welded together. All right, so let's see how that's going to work with this guy right over here. Now, if I select both of these segments, the way we would normally do it is hit Command J, and that would join them, but take a look right here. It's actually this straight segment, and it's not exactly the peak we were looking for. All right, so I'm going to undo that. I'll come back over here to the Tools panel and activate my Join tool. Now I'm just going to click and drag right here, and it's created this peak for me automatically. So that's more like what I was looking for. So now that you know how the tool works, Let's see it in action with a real drawing. So I'm going to hit the N key on my keyboard to activate the pencil tool. And I'm going to start my drawing out by just clicking and dragging right here. Got this guy set up. All right, so that's a good bottom shape. And I'll come back over here, come along this way, and go back up. All right, now a lot of times when I'm starting off with my idea stages of drawing, I draw kind of messy like this. Like um, this isn't connected here, and this didn't really make it all the way over there as well. So we're going to use the Join tool to kind of clean this up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to click and drag to select these guys. Back in the Tools panel, I'm going to click and hold. Now, instead of just bringing this guy out all the time, I could also come to this edge and tear out this little panel here. All right, so let's grab this Join tool. I'll click and drag. Now this has been joined, and it created this awesome little peak for me here. I'll come back over here to the front of the fish and then just scribble this guy away. And now with my selection tool, you see that we've actually closed off this path. When I hover over it, you see I have a closed path there. All right, so I'll go ahead and close this guy out and I'll continue drawing. I'm going to zoom in right over here in this section. And what I want to do here is create this little eyeball. So I'll just click and drag. Oops, I went a little bit too crazy with that. I'll just click and drag right here and right over here. All right, so I want to get rid of some of these segments, and the way I would do that is come back over here to the Tools panel and activate my Shape Builder tool. You could also hit the Shift-M keys to activate this tool. All right, so one thing I want to do first is get rid of this guy here, so I'll Option, click, and drag. Oops, I actually need to select both of these guys. There we go. Now that piece is gone, and now to join these guys over here, I'm going to come back over here and activate my Join tool. Now, Instead of uh, clicking and holding, finding the join tool, or even tearing this guy out, there's actually another way to work. So I could get rid of this tools panel right here. Under window, tools, I've already created a new tool set for pencil drawing. All right, so I have my tool set here. I'll just click and drag on that center mark. Once I have this blue line, I'll release. And now you see I have all these tools over here on the left. Right here, I'm going to find my join tool. And I'll just scribble this guy away. And now you see that this is all one segment. All right, let's zoom out 100% and keep on drawing. So I'm going to hit the N key or just come over here to my custom tools panel. And what I'm going to do is draw out a little fin for this guy right around here. Something like that looks fine. Oops, but I didn't actually join that in there. No problem. I'll just come back over here, scribble right around there, and everything's all joined up. And you can just continue drawing here however you wish. So these are some of the new workflow stuff you could do if you're on the creative cloud. So just select your segments, come along here, and just create a little interesting shape there. Maybe he got a little bite on there or something. Well, 
that's the technique that I use to create this fish here. And there you have it, folks. That's the new joint tool in Adobe Illustrator CC October 2014.